I've been testing the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon and it's a complete game changer. My name's Jim and this is The Edge of Tech. Recently, my friend Brian over at BV3D shot me a 20 second video clip of a printer printing a Benchy. It was going insanely fast and I'd never seen that printer before. I immediately needed to know what that printer was. I was so excited that it was something new and something different, something I'd never seen before, that I actually reached out to Bamboo Lab. I almost never do that, but I had to check this printer out. After that, the awesome team over at Bamboo Lab sent me the X1 Carbon. It has some crazy claims about speed and material and printing, and today, we're gonna take a first look. The experience starts with a very well-packed product. You could tell they took a lot of time to figure out how to get it all packaged into one box. The AMS, the automatic material system, actually ships inside of the printer and it's bolted down with shipping bolts. There's actually little orange arrows everywhere where you need to remove one of those shipping bolts and then everything kind of lifts right out the top because the glass panel comes off. After you get it unboxed, the setup is super easy. I actually did this at my house because the whole family's been pretty sick and I didn't get it over here to the studio. So I didn't have my camera, but if you get the AMS, all you gotta do is throw it on top and get it all plugged in and then you're ready to go. If you didn't get the AMS, you're good. All you gotta do is plug it in and you're set. Once I got it set up and ready to power on, I could not help but notice how awesome this printer looks. It really looks and feels like a very high-end machine and I could not wait to start using it. That's actually pretty understandable because most of the Bamboo Lab team came from DJI. They are known for products that work great and look amazing. So that's what we're seeing here. And I gotta tell you, once you flip that power button on, the real Bamboo Lab experience begins. The new technology starts with a calibration that's unlike I have ever seen before myself on a 3D printer. It's a frequency vibration test that sends the printer through a range of vibrations from low to high. It does this calibration to get the baseline for the active vibration control that's featured in this printer. Now we can load the filament. All you have to do is open up the AMS and drop the filament into slot one all the way on the left side and feed the filament just into the drive. It will do the rest for you. Just close that lid and you're ready to print. After the initial calibration, it's time to get started printing. The Bamboo Studio Slicer was developed from the ground up from Bamboo Lab, and it's been pretty easy and intuitive to use and learn. It will be available for Windows and Mac. In all the printing I've done so far, I've just used the default settings in the slicer. I've not changed anything at all, as I wanna get the best experience, and I also wanna see if they had their slicer settings dialed in right out of the box. They do have apps for iOS and Android as well. Actually, I've been using them both, and they're great for checking in on your prints and seeing how they're going. You can even update your firmware from the apps, which is pretty cool. Also, there's a cloud where you can pick prints and print them straight from there, and you can change your settings and everything right inside the app. 
I do have to say that the slicer and the apps are not fully finished yet, but by the time these printers start shipping, they will be. Once you're done slicing your print in the slicer, you can either save the 3MF file to an SD card or send it directly to the printer via Wi-Fi anywhere in the world. When the printer receives the print, that's where the real fun starts. The auto bed leveling on this thing is next level. They use LiDAR along with analog sensors and an AI algorithm to determine the bed leveling, the Z height, and to get the perfect first layer every single time. Next, we see the printer put down a pattern and some lines along the front side of the build plate. Then, the X1 Carbon scans the filament to calibrate the extrusion and flow control. That way it's dialed in to each filament before the first layers even start. After those calibrations, it's ready to drop that first layer. And I tell you what, this first layer goes down fast. Once the first layer is done, it's time to scan it. This printer lets you know if you have a bad first layer and it warns you on the screen. It scans the whole first layer and uses the AI to determine if it's good or not. Once that scan is done and good, it's time to start the rest of the print and man, it's off to the races. This printer is fast. It's not until this moment that you realize the sheer speed of this machine. And when I say fast, I mean fast. This Benchy that we just saw printing took just 17 minutes and 33 seconds to print. That is ridiculous and it looks so good. This looks better than a lot of the Benchies I print on stock machines at full print time. That is absolutely crazy from a stock machine. 17 minutes and 33 seconds. I think we actually might even get Chris Riley's approval on this one. Another example I did was this Crystal Dice Tower by Fate's End. I printed it at 0.2 layers and 90% and it finished in just seven hours and 42 minutes. If I would have sliced that with the Ender 3 S1 on Prusa Slicer, that was almost 29 hours. That means I saved over 21 hours of print time just on this crystal dice tower alone. And this thing came out really good. I printed the very popular Imperial Dragon at 100% scale and 0.2 layers. It only took eight hours and two minutes on the X1 Carbon. On the Ender 3 S1, it would have taken an estimated 26 hours. That saved 18 hours or over two thirds of the print time. That's just so crazy to me for a printer right out of the box. This happens print after print after print on this Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. And if you check out my social medias, you'll see all of the stuff I printed in the first 24 to 36 hours. This is an amazing amount of stuff and I never would have been able to print this much stuff in that amount of time on any other printer that I own, especially straight out of the box. Hey, if you're getting value out of today's video, can you please just smash that like button? It really helps the channel out and it spreads the video all out through the community so more and more people see it. I really appreciate it. Now that we went through the experience of unboxing it, setting it up, and our first print, Let's talk about some of the other awesome features on the X1 Carbon. The Automatic Material Systems, or the AMS that sits on the top of the machine, is a pretty awesome feature. It can do multiple colors, multiple materials, multiple filaments, or a mix and match of all the above. It actually allows you to load in a support material filament so you can print one filament and use another filament for supports if you really want to. It's got a built-in humidity sensor along with being airtight and a two-stage filament feeding system. All you have to do is push the filament in just a little bit, it grabs it and does everything else for you. It can be used with the Bamboo Labs reusable spools, which I think is really cool. They have a little RFID tag on them and each filament you get comes with an RFID tag if you get a different kind you want to throw on the same spool. And that also allows it to be identified by the AMS so it can tell which filament is in which slot, which is pretty awesome. It also can be used with any other spool that will fit inside. So you don't have to use their reusable spools, you don't have to use their filament, even though I was told it's gonna to be very cost effective for their filament, so I definitely wanna check that out. Because on the back of the machine, there's a filament spool holder. You just toss it right on there, feed it in, and you're good to go. The X1 Carbon also comes with a ton of sensors on board to make the experience smooth and the machine even that much smarter. They include a chamber temperature sensor, a filament runout sensor, a closed loop fan that can tell if the fan isn't spooled or spinning fast enough, 
a belt tension sensor, also a semi-automatic belt tensioning system, which is really cool. RFID sensors, of course, a front door sensor to detect when the front door is open, and more. The X1 Carbon also has a 1080p camera built right in that allows you to check your prints from anywhere in the app or the slicer. It also has built-in spaghetti detection and it'll alarm you if your prints begin to spaghetti. The hot end of the X1 Carbon goes up to 300 degrees Celsius. It has a hardened nozzle and a 40 watt ceramic heater. It is the fastest hot end I've ever seen to reach temperature on a stock printer with an average time of about 20 seconds. The X1 Carbon also features a heated chamber that goes up to 60 degrees Celsius, a glass top and a glass door that you've seen. And inside there's a 12 watt auxiliary part cooling fan that sits on the side of the printer and blows over the top where the hot end goes and helps cool your parts faster. And that's part of the way they're getting such fast prints. As you've seen, this thing really is packed full of new features and technology but there are a couple things that you probably should know about and we're gonna go over those now. The first thing is that you need to register an account with Bamboo Lab when you first get the printer and you're setting it up. This allows you access to the cloud, which syncs across your slicer and all your devices. It also gives you access to all those public prints that are inside of the cloud. The bigger reason for this is it actually registers your printer with Bamboo Lab for your one year warranty. You don't really have to worry about that though, because although you do have to register an account, you don't have to use the cloud for anything else after that if you don't want to. You can always drop your 3MF files on an SD card straight from the slicer and print to the printer completely offline if you want. One of the things you'll lose if you do it that way is the ability to upgrade the firmware right from the app. But if you want to be completely offline, you can definitely use this printer without being online at all. You just have to register that account for the warranty. The next thing you need to know is that this printer is not a quiet printer. The amount of cooling that's needed and the amount of noise that comes from the sheer speed of this beast causes this thing to be a lot louder than your standard quiet, silent printer. But you can always dive into the menus. You have four different speed options. You can put it in quiet mode if you want it to be quieter or if you're feeling kind of frisky, drop this thing up into ludicrous mode and see how fast you can get those parts done. If you do that, tag me on the social medias because I want to see it. The last thing I want to address is the fact that this thing is going to be on Kickstarter. I know that there's a stigma around this. I know that people are going to be pessimistic about it and you have the right to because we've seen so many printers promise to deliver and they fail. But there's also been a bunch of printers that haven't failed. And this one I'm very optimistic about. They have a robot that welds the frames. That's right. These are welded frames inside of here. They have a full assembly line ready to go and production models just like this one. This is a production model just like you would get if you ordered this machine but they're ready to go. Everything you've seen here today, with the exception of the app and the slicer, because they're still being developed, is how you would get it straight out of the box if you ordered it. Another thing to note is that the CEO from Bamboo Lab came from that small company called DJI. Most of the team came from DJI. They developed the printer, the apps, the slicer, the firmware, everything, which is pretty dang awesome, and I think it says a lot. That being said, I think they're using Kickstarter like Kickstarter was intended to be used. They're a small startup that created an amazing machine that has innovation, technology, and all the stuff that gets us excited. And they're just using Kickstarter to get the name out, to build the hype around this machine. Like I said a minute ago, where Bamboo Lab is different than most Kickstarters is that they already have the production line in place. They already have production units ready to come to you as soon as the Kickstarter stops and they start shipping them. So they're using Kickstarter to push this project even further. And who knows what's next for these guys. If they started with this, I can't wait to see what they come up with next. Personally, I think you can tell I really like this printer. It brings tech that I have never seen before. It delivers lightning fast, really good prints right out of the box. It has a ton of room for new development, maybe using the AMS and all the sensors built into this thing. And I really think it takes us a hundred times closer to that goal of getting a 3D printer in every single house. Just like an appliance, just like your toaster. This thing takes us so much closer than any other printer I've ever checked out that it's unbelievable. But who is this printer for? Well, I think this printer is for anybody who's looking for a great experience right out of the box. Somebody who's looking for a printer that's capable of cutting your print speeds in half 
or in more than thirds from your current printers. Somebody who's looking for a great feel, a great fit, a great finish, and just an overall quality, rich feeling product. Once you see this printer in person, I promise you're gonna think, I probably should have paid more for this. I like this thing so much that I'm actually backing the Kickstarter myself for one or maybe even two of these things because I think these would be great in a print farm. If you're prototyping or anything like this, this thing is also gonna be an amazing printer for that situation as well. On Kickstarter, the early bird price for this one right here for everything you see is only gonna be $9.99, I believe. After that, if you don't wanna buy it on Kickstarter, you can wait till it comes out, and I believe it's gonna be somewhere around 1,450 bucks US, which is still a killer deal for this thing. You're getting an amazing printer, a heated chamber, a full filament system, and did I mention the filament system can be connected for four of these for 16 different filaments to run into this thing. That's right, you can connect four of these things and use 16 filaments. I think that's so cool, and if you have the space to do it, why not? All in all, if you have the budget and you're looking for a printer, something that's different, something that's the leading edge of technology, something that, so far, has been a really great experience straight out of the box, I definitely would suggest checking out the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. If you don't need something quite this extravagant, they have the X1, which doesn't come with the AMS, or the high temp hot end. You can check out the differences of those in the link in the description on their website. Let me know what you think in the comments below of this machine, if you think it's cool, if you think the technology is cool, or if you don't, let me know. I would love to hear from you because I wanna know what you guys think of this thing. As you can tell, I am super pumped about it. I have not been this pumped about a 3D printer in a long time. This thing is different. And I really think this is gonna be a game changer in the 3D printing community. The other companies are gonna to have to step up because for the price of this thing and what you get, I don't know who else can beat that.